Okay, I'm here with Shane DeRosi from Par Auto Body. He's going to kind of walk us through the replacement of a quarter panel on a 2017 Chevy Cruze. Cruze notchback. So it's the difference between a notchback and the regular sedan is the repair procedure. So if you look up your repair procedures, what you're going to come across is there's three different attachment methods on the Chevy Cruze notchback. We've got spot welds, waterproof blind rivets, MIG braze section seams up in here and MIG braze slot brazes where we can't get with the resistance welder. So with that, your extra time is definitely put into, again, doing your test welds, practice welds. So you take the material that you're welding, you cut it just like you're gonna do on the vehicle. You're checking for proper capillary action on the back side to make sure your joint is going to hold for your braze. So it took one, two, three, four, five, six test welds to make sure I was getting a, a proper braze for my section joints. And then again, start doing test braises for the slot joints as well. So again, looking for the proper heat effect zone on the back side, the proper face. I got 17 of them to do all the way along the back side here. And to prep each slot took about two minutes, I would say. So a lot more time involved in that as to just a regular plug weld where you're drilling a six millimeter hole. Cause you gotta drill three holes, die grind it out, deburr it, clean it up. And uh, just a lot more prep time into that. As well on this, it's all structural adhesive throughout the wheel well opening and uh, door area and underneath where the blind rivets are. So. Are the rivets in there now? The rivets are in there, yes. So we'll see if we can see them. Them are way underneath here. They're tough to see. The quarter actually sucks up to the bottom of the rocker reinforcement on this one. Great. And you use a, a very high strength adhesive for that, is that what it is? Yeah, this is structural adhesive, so with uh, the GM they approved the fuser, I can't think of the part number off the top of my head, a 3M and then there's also one other one through GM that's approved, so you only got three choices of uh, structural adhesive to use on this. Can you tell me roughly what a tube of that costs? I think it's around 140 bucks a tube. I could be wrong. How much do you use on a job I like this? A tube and a quarter. On a tube job. and a quarter. So you bought $160 worth of adhesive on a, how many hours to change this quarter panel? 15.3. So you would get 100 bucks worth of body shop supplies and you'd be using $160 worth of glue, not to mention your welders and your brass yeah. and your set. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Silicon bronze wire is quite a bit more than steel wire as well so the actual things. spool of wire yeah okay yeah. Uh, in terms of prep work getting ready for this job you print off all this data that you get here from all data right all this yeah. information yeah. Uh, how long does it take you to go through that to set the job up and understand what the repair process is going to be to so make sure I got all the information required I could spend half an hour doing the research and then Again, reading through all my material, make sure I know what I'm doing on that vehicle before I actually cut into that vehicle. When do you read through it? At night time. <laughs> when you go home. Before, go home. After the kids go to bed, yeah. you read it, you study it, then you come to work the next day and prep your work. Is yes. that right? Yeah. Okay. And still, as you're going through, you're still making sure you're going through it because you're double checking in your sectioning areas. Make sure, like on this one, the braze joint up in the quarter panel section. So here it's showing 370 millimeter braze seam. So that is number four down in this area. So you're measuring that to make sure you're in the right area, as well as up in the sail panel is 260 millimeters. So you want to make sure you're sectioning in the same spot that they're showing, so you're measuring from here to make sure you're in that range wow. of where they want it sectioned. Wow. So there's a lot of uh, preparation time, getting ready, 
to do the job, to understanding what the process is. It would be different if you were doing these cars every day. Every, every day, if you, yeah. If you were at a dealership, it might be a little easier because you see them again and again yeah. and again. But an independent shop, you're going to see this car today. The next time you see one could be three months from now. Could be, yeah. Yeah. And then material-wise, though, um, you're finding that the, you're using more and more adhesives and foams and stuff more like that? More adhesives and not only... And with these adhesives, the manufacturers are using them right from the build. So to get this panel off, I had to use induction heat to remove the structural adhesive in the wheel op or the door opening and the wheel opening. And it takes a lot more time to remove that slowly to make sure you're not damaging the metal in behind as well. So. Wow. Wow. Okay, well listen, I appreciate your time, Shane, and I appreciate that uh, you explained this. I know Kieran wants to know and understand what's actually involved in some of these repair procedures and uh, this kind of information is valuable. Thank you very much. Yeah.